Chris here with Barnyard Outdoors. I hope the wind is not making this video horrible for everybody. Uh, I'm out here at one of the lakes and uh, uh, they're actually doing a, a kill off of a bunch of fish. So whew, it uh, it smells here. I mean, it's, it's pretty rank. So uh, I am here to test out and share with you one of EcoFlow's it's got to be their their smallest product ever, and it's not it's not this. This is the the River Mini, and it is small, but uh, it's something it's something even smaller. And look at this; they do a great job with packaging here. This is this is just over and above for what this actually is. This is the EcoFlow Solar angle guide uh, just when i start talking the wind kicks up so what this is it's just a little guide for your solar panels right to get the angle perfectly right for the maximum output of your panel and it's just this is just really smart real smart idea and uh you know there's other ways that you can test your solar panels to make sure the alignment is good. One real common one is using a can of something, like uh, if you have a can of Beanie Weenie, or like I brought a can of uh, Vienna sausages, and this is the uh, the bourbon barbecue. And one to eat these, I just haven't had a good opportunity to yet. Today is not gonna be the day. Um, it is pretty warm out direct in the sun, and eating some, you know, ambient temperature Vienna sausages is just not what I wanna do today. So check this out. This is just this tiny little clip-on unit. Nothing mechanical about it. It's all about the angle of the sun. You can see in there, there's some lines and uh, some degree readings. And then there's a little black plastic dot on top of that thing. And when you line it up with the sun just right, you want to get lined up to where the shadow of that black dot is right in the center. And I don't think you're going to be able to see that very well here. Let's see. And see how I've got that lined up and you just adjust your panels until you get that lined up perfectly so uh, so I brought along the uh, river mini and then I've got some uh, 60 watt panels from EcoFlow that I am going to hook onto my system now if you've watched my videos in the past you know that I'm a big fan of rock pals I've been using a rock pals 300 and a couple of their 60 watt panels and they've been working great I got that set up uh, and tested a couple times with my portable refrigerator and uh, the first time it worked phenomenally the uh, the second time it failed miserably uh, it worked great the first day the second day we did not get any sun and uh, eventually the there wasn't enough power in the battery pack so this was right around the time of prime day and I went a little prime day crazy bought all this stuff myself um, but I have a new solar battery pack system that I'll be testing out at Indian Cave at the end of September um, that should solve all of my problems with the portable refrigerator. I should be able to go a couple days without sun without any issue whatsoever. So I look forward to sharing that with you guys. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see that video when it comes out probably early to mid-October. So let's get this started. Um, I'm going to hook up the 60 watt panels. I'll put this on it. I'll hook it up to my EcoFlow River Mini and I should be able to show you between the display on the, the EcoFlow and the display in the app the difference that it makes getting the perfect alignment to the sun with your panels. I also brought some other panels with me so I can clip this to those panels and uh, just to demonstrate this this is just a clip on right it doesn't matter who your panel is who makes it as long as it'll fit through that clip it's it's pretty it's a pretty tight clip on there so uh, we'll see we'll see how it works this is this is going to be fun thanks for coming along and uh, remember to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to my channel so I will uh, get this baby powered up get it connected up to my phone so we can look at it in the app and get the panels up so this is the first time with me setting up these uh, these EcoFlow panels. They come in uh, in a carry case, very nice carry case that also works as the stand. Like I mentioned, this is the 60 watt panel. Um, I'm going to try to set it up to where you can watch me put it together, uh, but we'll uh, we'll start testing. So what's interesting about these panels is this carry case is actually the stand. So 
I'm gonna pull out the panels here, and it's just for, for 60 watt, they're pretty good sized panels. Back side of this case is hard. And then along here, there are places that is uh, rubberized, so the panel should stay there. And then there are clips, which you clip the panels to. So I'm just going to uh, get these set up, set them up the way I think they need to be. We'll check the input, and then we'll put the, the solar angle guide on these and uh, see what kind of difference that makes. So I've got the panel set up. This is normally how I would configure these. Um, I know the sun is pretty much overhead, so I might want to lay them flat. Um, but we'll we'll see what's going on here. Let me get some power into the EcoFlow Mini. It's sitting at about 30% right now, so this is a good opportunity for me to give it a little charge from the solar. And uh, let's see what this uh, angle guide can do. All right, so I've got this plugged in. Hopefully you can see this. There's no way you're gonna be able to see that. So actually what I'm getting here, maybe in the phone we can see this better. I'm getting uh, 47 watts in right now. 60 watt panel, that's not bad at all. And you can see the angle I've got on it. But the sun is not, is not in that direction. So let's go ahead and put this angle guide clip on, which just literally clips on and see what it shows. So I'm gonna walk around here. You can see that the shadow is down here at the bottom. So I need to angle the panels. And I'm going to, let's see, they've gotta go up. And wow, my, my entire angle was off. That's interesting. Shows what I know. I, got, I need two hands for this. Hang on. There we go. So now I've got this. Let's see how I can show you this. I've got that dot lined up right. And uh, boy, I was way off on my initial setup of these. But let's see what I'm getting. I was getting 47 before. And now, let's see if you can see this. I'm getting 55 watts. And that's 55 watts in on a 60 watt panel. That is, that is really good. That is very impressive. Um, all just because of that little angle guide. That makes all the difference in the world. And uh, let's just let it sit here for a bit. It's, it's getting some power in. That's good. It shows that it's, uh, it's slowly charging up. One of the things I like about the, the EcoFlow is using this app, being able to monitor your battery pack, the solar input, all those things when you're away from the setup. Normally you end up setting your solar up a little bit far away because you're sitting in the shade. You don't want the panels in the shade. So uh, let's just let this go, see how it goes. I've been letting this thing sit for about five minutes. It's still in alignment and I'm still getting over 50 watts in, which is great. Now, I mentioned this works on any type of solar panel. I brought along uh, these, let's see, this is, the, this is the Flex Solar, and this is their 40 watt panel. Now, I don't have a plug that goes into their, their 12 volt out port, but it does have a USB-C port, and something I've been messing around with, which seems to be working, we'll see how it works. I, I haven't tried this on the River Mini, but I have this little adapter cable and it's USB-C to the XT60 connector. So with this plugged into the panel, I should be able to get, I don't know, something out at least. And, and this is a lot smaller than the 60 watt panel from EcoFlow. It's, you know, it's only 40 watts, so it's 20 watts less, but it, it folds up nice, it unfolds. It's, uh, it's, it's been a nice panel. I've had some good luck with this. Um, plugging it into my Rock Pals to supplement the 60 watt panels. 
that I have for the rock piles. And, and those work great. I'm, I'm very happy with those. I ended up getting the connectors that I need to go to the, uh, the EcoFlow line of products, which is that XT60 connector. So I can still use those panels chain those together to get 120 watts in um, but I, I might have some larger eco float panels as well at home for a, a larger battery pack um, like I said you'll see and uh, hear all about that when we go out to Indian Cave for our camp out this uh, this fall so I'll throw in some video on the screen here of the uh, the actual app as I'm monitoring this while it's charging right now it's sitting at uh, about 51 watts in but you can actually see the percentage of the battery increase as I've had it out here sit and charging and uh, getting that kind of feedback remotely is is just a game changer for me it means I'm not gonna actually have to get up and walk over to the panels and the battery pack to see what's going on so I'm gonna check to see where the dot is and I'll show you here it's moved a little bit to the right so uh, I could move my panels to get a little bit more better performance out of them uh, not too big of a deal now I'm still sitting around 50 watts in I'm happy about that so look how easy it is to see how the angle is a little bit off just because of the motion of the Sun hopefully you can see there it has gone a little bit off to the right so definitely a benefit having something like this um, I've got my other panels set up here this park has gotten real busy all of a sudden now this doesn't have any type of kickstand so I'm just going to set them up here and I'll play with the alignment on the picnic table. All right, I moved the mini up to the, uh, the picnic table here and uh, the fan's going because it's warm out. That's, that's just going to happen, right? It's got to keep itself cool. And uh, I'll set it down here on the side. The wind just kicks up every time I'm talking. Um, I've got the USB-C cable in there and then the, uh, the XT60 connector. Let's plug it in and, and see what happens. All right, it's plugged in. And uh, if I look at the front of the unit, I know you're not gonna be able to see it, but I'll, uh, I'll maybe try to get a picture of it. I'm showing 29 watts in, which still is not bad, um, but I know these things are not angled even close to appropriately. So I'll uh, slide the clip off and I'm gonna put it on the panel and uh, I'll just clip it on right here. I don't wanna block any of the panels. And if we look at that, I don't know if you can see that, I'm way off here. So I want to bring it a little bit this way. I've got to, uh, I've got to worry about my, my can of sausages, all right? So I've got that lined up, and I, and I think that the best way to do this is you do your, uh, your, your change of position to get it lined up with the center line. Once you've got that, then angle it up all right so that seems to work pretty good i'm just going to take my my yeti bottle here it's not going to be the perfect solution but i should be able to get that up let's uh let's take a look at the app real quick just before i get started um right now i'm showing 30 watts in 30 watts in is not bad for this little flex solar panel um, especially since I'm doing everything USB-C right that's uh, that's pretty impressive so at uh, 30 watts in I'm gonna try to angle this up I might have to hold it and get it lined up just perfectly and uh, there goes my Yeti bottle Boy, this angle is just it's hard to get right and there I'm uh, I'm now getting 33 now you know the, the Sun is dr almost directly overhead right so according to this I'm about 30 degrees off when I lie it flat so this this flex solar panel has been really good but 30% flat and then if I bring it up to where I can line it up right it, uh, it brings it up to about about 32 watts in so there is definitely a change there but uh, this is this is impressive i'm really really impressed with this little thing the only problem it's way too expensive i mean ecoflow come on 
Look at this. What does it cost to make this thing? I mean, they spend a lot of money on the packaging, and I, I do appreciate that. It's a nice-looking package, but, but come on. This little thing, $20. It shouldn't be $20. This thing, uh, maybe 9 bucks, 6 bucks. come on. Somebody's going to end up ripping this thing off and manufacturing it in China super cheap. Hopefully we'll see more of these types of things, but uh, this, I, I feel like it's worth it just so I can make sure that my panels are working at the most optimum angle to the sun and working as efficiently as possible. So that's kind of where the value comes in with something like this. And, and like I said, you know, you can always use this, right? You put this on your panel. If there's no shadow, you're lined up perfectly, right? But this thing is, it's not convenient to carry around a can of something where you go when you're out and about. But this thing, this is real easy, super lightweight, easy to throw into a pack or a kit of cables or whatever you're using. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. You're going to see more of me doing some of this solar stuff as I'm out doing my car camping and trying to build up a better overlanding kit and setup. And uh, plus, I've got some other, uh, other reviews coming up and a great adventure that I just did yesterday, uh, kayaking with some friends. And we went out to a local lake that has an island that you can actually camp on. We went out to that area, scouted the uh, the island to check out all the campsites, see what it was going to be like, and uh, I'm I'm pretty sure you're going to see a video in the future on my channel of uh, me and a bunch of the guys camping out there as well. Thanks everybody for watching. See you in the next video.